Hey guys, it's Gina Militia from GinaMilitia.com and today I want to show you how to use the graduated filter in the local adjustments palette in Lightroom. So uh, that's it there, the little uh, rectangular looking tool. You can either click on the tool or hit M as a shortcut uh, and basically you'll get this little drop down menu and uh, you can provide uh, local adjustments uh, non-destructively to your images and you can adjust all these variables, color temperature, exposure, contrast, highlights, uh, etc. Uh, where this uh, tool is really cool is uh, fixing up sky. So um, uh, I've got this image here on the screen uh, that I shot in Iceland. I really loved this uh, rustic looking uh, shed on the property and uh, I went ahead and shot this with my 16 to 35 mil. Did an okay job, unfortunately uh, I didn't expose correctly for the sky, so it's a bit of a white hot mess here in the left hand corner. But if I go um, to my back to my overall adjustments here, I can uh, just uh, adjust the exposure overall on the image and you can see that there is a lot of detail still left in the sky. I shot raw, so uh, the great thing about shooting raw is you can uh, really uh, bring in, bring back that detail as long as you uh, haven't overexposed uh, too much. And in this case, I haven't, and I'm able to uh, save that sky and bring in a lot more detail and uh, really. Uh, bring out, um, make the make the overall sh shot look a lot better. So uh, just uh, dropping the exposure and uh, reducing the highlights makes the sky look great, but the rest of the image is now uh, underexposed. So that's not going to work. So this is where the uh, graduated filter comes into its own. So basically I'm going to uh, now just address this sky and what I want to do is uh, improve uh, the uh, overall appearance and detail of the clouds and uh, really make the sky pop. So uh, hit M to bring down the, uh, open up the, the marquee tool. So you'll see that uh, the first thing that happens is uh, your cursor will change to a cross. Uh, now, depending on if you were using uh, what, what you were doing uh, in your last uh, lot of uh, retouching, your sliders are going to be all over the place. So just make sure that you uh, reset them. So you can reset them all one by one, which is uh, really, uh, hard to do and takes forever or the really uh, quick shortcut is just double click on the effect uh, that word there effect and that'll zero everything which uh, saves a lot of time so uh, what I'm going to do uh, just to show you uh, how this uh, graduated filter works is I'm just going to drop the exposure down uh, by a couple of stops just so you can see the effect and so basically I've got uh, my uh, cursor here which is now in a, a cross and if I go to the what the area that I want to affect is basically the sky. So if I start at the top of my image and just drag down, you'll see that uh, I'm dragging out three lines and um, basically that's that's the filter having an effect. So it's graduated, which means that uh, everything above this line, so if I just hover over the pin there, you can see the, uh, the red overlay shows you where it's having an effect and how it feathers the effect um, over, over the adjustment. So basically everything uh, in this area between the top and the middle line is going to be affected by 100% by uh, what you tell Lightroom to uh, apply to that area. And everything uh, below this middle line is going to start to feather out uh, till about the middle of this uh, this second portion and then it's not going to affect the image at, at all. So like a good graduated adjustment uh, should start to feather out and uh, sort of blend in with the horizon. So that's what I'm trying to do with uh, this image here. So if I just go uh, 
show you before that was the uh, sky before the adjustment and after you can see that uh, it's looking really good probably the problem is that uh, this sky is now looking a bit unrealistic so I'm just going to knock that back and not quite apply that much so my sky uh, looks a little bit better and the blue isn't too unreal and I'm just going to drop down my shadows so I'm picking up a little bit more detail in the clouds here and that's really working I can drop that down all the way and uh, that's starting to look really good I like to add a little bit of clarity to my clouds that really uh, makes them pop as well so that's looking really good I'm pretty happy with that the problem is that uh, I've still got uh, this part of the image I know there's a lot more detail so what I can do is I can actually apply a new graduated filter to that area so if I just hit new uh, I get my uh, cross uh, comes up again the uh, the first uh, adjustment that I did has now been switched off so um, it's not going to affect that area I've got a new area and I can do a new selection. Now this time I don't want to uh, go over this part of the sky. I actually just want to do uh, this, this edge here. So it's kind of like on an angle. And uh, the great thing about this tool is I can bring it in on that angle. So I've still got uh, my uh, exposure has gone back to the original setting, which was uh, like minus 2.22. So I can actually just pull it across and get it to a point where it's looking like I want to avoid the blue parts and uh, just bring it up around there. That's looking pretty good. There and I can just uh, knock that, knock the exposure back and just bring in the highlights and I've done that's looking pretty good now if I wanted to I could uh, make the sky uh, the clouds warmer so add some warmth which would be great for uh, like a, a sunset shot or something like that or just to give it uh, a bit more of an artier look and I can also do that if I uh, turn on the uh, earlier adjustment that I did I can also warm up the sky there and just give it a sort of a, a, a late evening feel uh, to it as well but I'm not going to do that for this image so I'm just going to knock that back to where I started. So, so that's the shot there. I'll just add a little bit of clarity again to those clouds. So let me show you uh, before, after. So fantastic. So I'm, I'm very happy with uh, how I've brought the sky in. Uh, now I want to um, just come back. Oh, one more thing. So um, let's just go back to here. Uh, when I uh, fixed up the sky, the, the, the problem with this tool is if you've got something in the foreground, like I have here, like this shed, uh, it applied the adjustment and the exposure to the shed as well. So now the shed is uh, looking a little bit underexposed, but there's a really good way that I can uh, counter that effect, and that's simply by opening up the shadows. Um, so I've got my uh, adjustment selected, open up the shadows, and... I'm just bringing back the exposure that uh, that I picked up before so that that's when it was uh, darker and now I've just fixed up that shed there and it's uh, it, it, it's looking really good there so I'll go back to my um, overall adjustments and uh, just tweak that I might want to open up the shadows just a little bit more just to bring those back in make sure there's a good black in the image so I'm just holding down the option or the alt key and uh, clicking over to the left a little bit of white and just to finish it off adding uh, just a little bit of clarity and uh, there we have it. So there's before, there's after using the graduated filter.